In this video, I will demonstrate the features of the CrowdStrike Falcon Identity Threat Detection License, or ITD. We'll start with the Insights and Analytics page. Visibility is key to understanding what you have in your domain now and how you are configured and segmented by groups. ITD will tell you how many service accounts versus human accounts you have, how many are privileged, and what weaknesses they may have in the passwords that would be easy to compromise, for instance, in a brute force or dictionary attack. By compromised passwords, we refer to any which are on the Have I Been Pawned database within a customer provided list, and thus represents a higher risk. Account classification is automatic from the moment of installation and continues, letting you see trends over time, with spikes of new privileged users or end users who may not be in line with your password rotation policy. ITD offers suggestions for replacing weak protocols that may be in use and lets you gain visibility into potential attack paths, which can lead to, pri to privilege escalations and more. Let's take a look how to detect identity-based incidents. Incidents are events happening in your network associated with potential malicious intent and require attention or security analyst review. Identity events are triggered in real time, mostly from authentication events, which analyze the monitor, monitored entities through machine learning to understand behavior, privileges, and more. Once you become aware of weaknesses in your identity ecosystem, you can customize the detection engine and exclude alerts based on various criteria. This page offers a clear overview of the recent security events in the organization, including the severity, status, and what type of accounts and services were involved. You can filter on this table to drill and quickly find what you're interested in seeing. Filtering is easy if you're looking for activities associated with specific attack patterns or trying to find particular compromised entities. Once you select an incident, you can dive in for additional details. A single incident page will provide you with a clear timeline of all the connected events. Here we can see a chain of activity starting from someone using Bloodhound and doing credential scanning. This is popular for the reconnaissance phase of the attack chain. Immediately after this event is an unusual use of endpoint alert that indicates lateral movement of the same credential to another machine on the network. If we follow the timeline of these events, we'll see another type of credential attempt indicator here, namely a golden ticket alert. These alerts and information can all be escalated through email from the interface or exported via API to other platforms like a SIM, ticketing, or SOAR. If you're interested in understanding the full events that led to this alert, you can easily pivot to the Threat Hunter module to get this information. There's a Threat Hunter on the left here, but I can also go on this little blue circle and we click right in there, and now we're in the Threat Hunter. ITD's Threat Hunter is similar to the Falcon Investigate feature, offering a predefined search for related events for an incident you're looking for, or you can enter in your own search criteria. Threat Hunter lets you proactively search through recent network credential activity. This can be a great starting point for post-incident investigation and response. A dedicated entity profile page with additional information is automatically created for every managed entity, which refers to either a service account or user, that helps you understand the context behind the event, and as you can see, is accessible with a click through the platform whenever the entity is mentioned in any event. Within this entity profile, you'll find meaningful information such as metadata, like the creation date, last password change, and more advanced analytics like the risk score and its contributing factors, or assets that are usually accessed for this entity and their relationship type. If you want to focus on high risk activity, you go to the risk section here, and you can also see the different factors leading to that score and best practices for how to resolve them. Falcon Identity Threat Detection is a key part of any identity visibility initiative and as part of an incident investigation and response can provide the key knowledge of who and which credentials were involved with abnormal activity for your network, whether on-premises or in the cloud. 